real life situation using exponential functions. Objectives Number one, to represent the real life situation using exponential functions. Number two, to apply math problem using exponential functions. Problem number one. A quantity has increased by 10% in its original value. So find the ratio of the new value to original value. So let's have the given. Original value 110. Increased by 10%. So 110 plus 10% is equal to 180%. So fraction 4. 120 divided by 100 is equal to 6 divided by 5 or 1 and 1 fifth. In decimal form, it's 1.20. While percent form, it's 120%. Number 2, 65. 65 plus 10% is equal to 75%. Fraction form, 75 divided by 100 is equal to 3 fourths. Decimal form, 0.75 and in person form it's 75% problem number two a quantity has increased by 40% in its original value find the ratio of the new value to the original value original value 130 decreased by 40% so 130 minus 40% is 90%. Fraction form. 90 divided by 100 is equal to 9 over 10. In decimal form, it's 0.9. In percent form, it's 90%. Next, 65. 65 minus 40% is equal to 25%. So 25 divided by 100 is equal to 1. And then 0.25 as a decimal form, and in present form, it's 25%. Exponential function form y is equal to a times b raised to x, where a is the y intercept at 0 and a, while b it means growth for the a, while x exponent of x make this an exponential function. Formula for compounded continuously. A is equal to P T R T, where A is MT. P is the amount of tested. E is equal to 2.71828. R is for the rate. T is for the time. So let's have a formula for the problem solving. Lisa invests a $2,500 in bank which pays 10% interest per year compounded continuously. What will be the value of the investment after 10 years? Formula for the annuity is equal to present where E as 2.71 R is for the rate and T is for the time. Present will be $2,500. R is 10% or 0.1. T is for 10 years. Where E is 2.71828. And annuity, let's apply 2500 times 2.71828 raised to 0.1 times 10. And then the annuity is 6,795.70. So the value of the investment after 10 years is 6,795.70.